When creating a UI table view programmatically, it's logical that you might want to subclass UI table view cell. And this video shows you how to do exactly that. So we can go into the code. So this code is the code for the UI table so view cell. And in this particular implementation, I've got an image on the right hand side which is just created with this lazy variable. But there's other ways you can do it. It's not too important. And if you want to go ahead and create this UI table view cell, you might have a look at the accompanying article and repo that takes you through exactly how you might do this from the beginning. And also has links for things like lazy bars. But the interesting part kind of is the initializer, which in this case is setting the background of the cell to be red, adds this image on the right hand side and these constraints put it on the right hand side. So you're kind of organizing the elements on the cell and then when you hit this function it sets up the cell and we have of course a required initializer which you always must have for a subclass cell. So here we have the UI table view cell indicating that this is a subclass of UI table view cell. So we call this from a view controller. And this view controller's just got one, two, three, four, five, six different cells. We set a reuse identifier. I've done it in view did load, which is a sensible place to do it. No, sorry, I've called setup table view, which then registers the table view cell with the reuse identifier, which is cell and sets the delegate and data source, which is where kind of the main parts of the code go. The load view part is just programmatic creation of the table view, nothing too exciting. And the data source is the important part. We have those six cells created as rows, sorry, six rows created, one for each element of the data. And then itself a row at, which is raising our cell using DQ reusable cell and it, it's going to assume that that cell is a custom table view cell. So using the reuse identifier we don't know if we're creating a new cell or using the existing one. However when we have it we can set the text on our label and then set up the cell with our particular image. Now this image of course is within my assets folder and you might also want to see how we programmatically create our view controller. Now arguably you might have MVVC or whatever, MVVM or whatever structure. This just has a view controller and I'll put it in a navigation controller to make it a bit easier to see. So this project just creates that table view. But for this, the interesting part is the custom table view cell and we're setting up the cell. And incidentally, for free, since we're subclassing table view cell, you'll see there's no label specified here. And that's because it's taken from the original UI table view cell. So this gives you kind of the tools for creating your own custom table view cell. And did I mention? Don't forget to look in the repo. It has this code and it's easy to read when you have the code in front of you in your own version of Xcode. So I hope that video has been of use to you. It certainly helped me to make sure that I can always subclass UI table view cell. And genuinely, I always create a UI table view programmatically. Anyway, see you next time.